there was a boy in Germany yeah. who has double the muscle mass yeah. of a normal human being. Yeah. By the time he's 16, they say he'll be able to lift a car. Yeah, that's um, real. Yeah, and the, I don't know if you've interacted with or, or researched, but there's a girl in Russia who claims, and all the doctors, the Russian doctors and everything, say that she can diet like an unknown stranger could be in another room through a lead wall and she could say they have cancer in this part of their body. Because supposedly she can just secret. Uh, put something in your hand and ask her what's in your hand. Right. Try it sometimes. Yeah, hopefully. They usually have a, a code of another will. guy that went out to check what was in the other room. Mm -hmm. When he comes back, this means cancer, this means heart disease. Very mm -hmm. easy to do a million different ways. Or the table on the drawing means the guy that you think of as an artist. You can develop, if you want, right. you understand what I mean, billions of different codes. Mm -hmm. If you put pepper on food, mm -hmm. it means a war in New Zealand. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they spend 10 years on an esoteric language that they both understand. Mm -hmm. You don't. So then to, to you, they're talking normally, but to one another, they're communicating. Right. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? There's no magic. Now, well, I hope to interview now you. here's something else. Mm -hmm. Two people that live together for a long time have parallel values. Mm -hmm. So they look at something, smile at each other, they don't really need to say anything. Yeah. That's parallel values, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, look at, you look at a kid's behavior, like I would make a big box of chocolate and put it on a table in front of a kid, and I'd be eating each chocolate. So the kid, Usually doesn't say, can I have one? I say, boy, you sure got a lot of chocolate there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I talk around the subject. I says, yes, that's right, I sure do. And I'm eating it. And he's watching me, you going to eat all of them? <laughs> you know, kids don't have been taught manners. Mm -hmm. Manners is concealing your true behavior. Yeah, that's all they are. You see, so uh, I don't have manners. Nope. I you always really speak not. the truth. Now. People That's like why that. Larry King, when I was on this many years ago, 40 years ago, to see the date mm -hmm. on the film, I talked to Larry King a long time ago, but he didn't understand a lot of this stuff. So he said, Jock, uh, I don't understand a lot of what you're talking about. So I said, well, Larry, you have to ask questions. You have to question me when you don't understand. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, how can you be so smart in so many different areas and everybody else all the top scientists, they don't seem to be that smart. So, so he says, I'm afraid of you. Do you mind if I get some professors from the University of Miami to ask you questions? I said, not at all. He got about four dumb professors that didn't know even what questions to ask. You know, so it's not, it's not that they're dumb, really. It's that they're brought up in the universal school and they get to talk about, you know, Hawking's, mm -hmm. the guy in the yeah, wheelchair, the and he says a great scientist. If he were a great scientist, he deals with particle behavior. Mm -hmm. The world's falling apart, well then you're dealing with that. Mm -hmm. Then there's a group of scientists that are working on terraforming other planets, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. So to make Mars livable for us, well, while it's here? falling apart, mm -hmm. they're not scientists, they're jackasses. Get work on this planet, try to prevent war. You know, if you're a scientist and you're working on cancer cure, I wouldn't work on that because the guy you cure might be Adolf Hitler. You know, what about the other I, First, I would like to clean their brains out mm -hmm. and teach them how to think and be socially concerned, then a scientist. Do you get the message? A scientist that makes war tanks that can kill 48, the wars are getting worse than ever. The university is getting better equipment every year and they're better killing machines. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's in the wrong direction. So that's what I try to talk about when I'm at universities, saying that what you learn here is not necessarily useful stuff. It is what they want you to hear. I would love to see the system collapse. To well, me. it's collapsing. Mm -hmm. But please get this stuff out there as before. much as you can before the collapse, so people know which way to turn. Because you're going to get fascism if, if you gonna, don't do anything. Gonna That's get. happening right now. That's happening. They're trying to control, and when large riots will occur in the United States, 
crime is going up very fast now because they're not taking care of people, providing for their needs. Yeah, down here in Florida, even you know, a lot of people don't know where their food comes from. They come, it comes on a truck. What happens when the truck doesn't come? So what, what I do is try to provide them with information yeah. to solve the problem. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I never tell a soldier, you're, you're, you're just a killing machine. I say they should conscript all the money. They say if you buy war bonds, it brings Johnny home faster. Mm -hmm. So why the hell buy him? Conscript all the money. Because mm -hmm. these kids are out there putting their life up for you. So give them the plants and everything else. <laughs> they don't do that. Mm -hmm. So it's not a real war. I don't know if I told you, but in a real war, you design bombers to knock out the power projects. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. The dams and the generators, that shuts the aircraft factories. But if you shoot soldiers out in the field, yeah. <laughs> as long as those generators are operating the factories, you see, you have to tell that to soldiers. <laughs> they don't think that way. Mm -hmm. Then when I talk to a bunch of soldiers, they say, gee, I haven't thought of that. You mean I've been killing people for nothing? I said, that's right. Now we're friends with Germany and Japan. Mm -hmm. We buy their cars, you kill a lot of Japs for nothing. See, so I kind of say, you must teach the nations how to work together and share resources. I mean, ultimately what you're really talking about is how to be an evolved human being. Right. Really, just how well, to be in balance you can't with your surroundings. You can't do it on an island that's scarce. Mm. In a scarcity island, they'll give you rewards according to your ability. If you can catch more fish than anybody, you're more important on that island. Yeah. But in an abundant society where everybody has access to things, you don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. See, they, today they get in debt. They borrow money, try to pay off a house, and the banks collect the interest. Tremendous fraudulent systems, yeah. which are being exposed lately only because we're going downhill. But nothing Obama does is going to work. He's about the best of all the crap out there, but he's also part of the system. I see him trying to hold the nation together. He can't do that. You know that the plans have been to balkanize the United States, yeah. to break him into like seven different you know, states, basically. Yeah. They might succeed. I don't know. Well, as long as you understand what I'm getting at, it's more important for you to understand me rather than... Uh, I have a question. Yes. Are you viewing this interview as I gotta get this information out as quick as possible to as many people as possible because yes. the system's collapsing and yes. I don't really see this happening in the next 10 years but the, the world that comes out no, after this... No, it's happening sooner. Very soon. Just the, the collapse or this? What's that? The collapse or... or of this system. Mm. Yes, it happened in Russia and it's happening all over the world, not just America, by the mm -hmm. way, because the banks are tied in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand So the that. whole system is collapsing. But there's no country on earth that knows where to go. That's why the Zeitgeist film, we're getting thousands of letters from all over the world. Now, what can I do to help mm -hmm. get this viewpoint out there? Get our tapes, run them at universities, discuss it. Um, the, I don't want anybody to believe me, but since you were here, I showed you what I can show you, so that you know as well that Fresco does a lot of tricks. He doesn't do any tricks. He's really concerned with the well-being of all people. Mm -hmm. You understand? Not my mother. They say, honor thy father and mother. My mother was a racist. Did I tell you I brought a Japanese kid home? Mm -hmm. One day my mother says, I don't want that kind around. And that, the first time I ever heard that, and the kid says, I'll see you later, Jock. He was third generation American. And I said, boy, I've got to get to my mother. <laughs> you know, because if I'm going to try to change the world, mm -hmm. I can't change my mother, might as well forget it.